We are back. Come on, it's not my laugh. 2021. No, that's not my laugh. Tell me what you want for Christmas. Oh my god, you're gonna be. You should be switched. Probably. Okay. So, we have been off of YouTube for a minute. We Couple took weeks. A much needed break after vlogmas which was really nice we spent time up in Truckee yeah. um at clayton's family's cabin his family wasn't there though it was just us the whole time so we did that um, we relaxed quite a bit took some time yeah. off it was like our little end of year did you have coffee relaxation two cups today your breath smells <laughs> that hasn't gone away either but yeah, so we're back home now and we've unpacked, gotten the house in order. We took down all the Christmas decorations. So mm -hmm. the tree is gone. No more tree. And, and all the decor is down. And now we just feel like our house looks so empty after that, which I'm sure is like a very common reaction. It was just so like decadent and... Full. And, and it, it felt very like green. lively because yeah. everything was green. So now we're just like, wow, everything is just... It looks kind of sterile. Yeah, it does. So on that note, we kind of felt like inspired to rethink some yeah. decor things and maybe be like, oh, we could put a little more on here or something. Because I tend to think of our personal style and our home to be kind of like eccentric. No, not eclectic. Eccentric. Yeah. I don't know why I said that. Eccentric. Eccentric. Eclectic, which is kind of like, there's already a lot going on. Like it's not minimal for sure. What's up there? Oh, that was from the garland. So I already felt like we had a lot going on, but now after everything's gone, I'm like, we can fit more in here. Like, yeah, we, we can, can do more. We can do more. So just thinking of little things here and there. <laughs> so like, for example, our mantle. Our mantle just now that barren. Now that the garland is gone, it looks so barren, pretty much. Not really sure what we can do, but. So I went on Pinterest and I was just looking at some things. Dee's been Pinterest in hard. The problem is that our mantle is not like super um, deep. deep. And also our mantle is not my Nine inches. style. Like I love Parisian decor and this is very like rustic. Rustic. So the way that I want to decorate it doesn't really go with the actual elements. So it's kind of tricky for me. But yeah, so we might go just look at some home decor stuff today. Yeah. Maybe hit up Target, home goods, maybe a little thrifting. Start working we'll on see. the new decor. But what we're gonna do right now actually is cook some lunch before we do anything. So we're gonna show you guys today how we make one of our favorite lunches. It's a super easy, yummy salad. And we're also going to share how we make crispy tofu, which is actually such a highly requested thing because I get it. Tofu is kind of intimidating and a lot of people aren't familiar with it. They didn't like grow up cooking it or anything. So we're going to share how we do that and just make a little lunch with you guys and some tofu. So let's get to it. So what we're gonna use to cook our tofu is our always pan by our place. And we are actually working with them on today's video. So we're so excited about it because if you guys don't already know, I've talked about this pan a million times. We are obsessed with it. Completely. We literally bought every single person in our family who's over the age of 15 this for Christmas. There's only one person that didn't <laughs> Yeah, he's too, yeah. he's too young. He, he's not cooking yet. We literally bought everyone one of these because yeah. we love it so much. So I feel like that is just the best testament of how much we love it. Like we felt like everyone in our yeah. family needed one. Yeah, if you guys follow us on Instagram, you see this file on Delaney's stories. We use it every at single least. day when we're at home. Because. Yeah, because it's so good. This thing is amazing first of all we oh, we in this household really appreciate that it's aesthetic because aesthetic is king here so it comes in a couple of different colors we have this color that's kind of like a like a pinky orange kind of like muted salmon color and you can leave it on the stove because it actually like looks so cute so we love that it's aesthetic it also comes with with this aesthetic wooden spoon as well that you can put like that and so we love that it looks good it also works amazing so it's non-stick and it's actually designed to replace eight items of cookware in a traditional kitchen so you can boil you can steam you can saute you can fry you can deep fry you can braise you can literally do much with this and it's just one 
Japan. So like I yeah. said, we are obsessed, sold out so many times because every publication is obsessed with it. Every person who has it is obsessed with it. I Seriously think. though. Everybody that we gave one to for Christmas is already like, this is the Stoked. best pan ever. Yeah. Like, oh my They've God. all like texted us. We love, love this. It. Like my grandma, my brother, yeah. his brother. So yeah, we use this every day. We love it. The only thing is you don't want to put this in the water when it's really hot. So we always let it cool down let before cool we wash off. it. Yeah. Just a little tip. And yeah. We also got um, the steamer. Oh yeah. So, so this you is can pretty steam cool. in here as well. It comes with a... It comes with the metal uh, bottom. But then also it comes with these wooden uh, steamers. Well, doesn't it, those are separate. These are separate, yeah. Sorry, it doesn't come with these. So it comes, let's, let's explain what it yeah. comes with first. So this actually comes with it, which is a steamer. So it just fits nicely in there. You can steam your veggies, whatever. Super convenient. It's nice to have. And then this is It's like an, an add-on. Add it's an add-on, yeah. These are for steaming as well. So you and can steam dumplings yeah. or corn or whatever you want. And we, you can do one layer or two layers. Yeah. So What were those things that your mom made? Mushu. No. Oh, uh, shumai. Shumai, yeah, shumai. shumai. We'll be making some shumai in these for sure. Yeah. And actually, it looks super out. cute with liquid bowls. So they just water. fit right on there. And <laughs> like, how cool it's is so that? cool. It does so many things. So Look at we're that. obsessed. If you don't have one of these and you've been thinking about it, we highly recommend and it's a great gift as well because it's so practical yep. so I, I love giving people something that they can actually utilize use yeah so that's really nice and now we're going to show you it in action you how we get that crispy crispy tofu a lot of people always ask kind of like what tofu they should they should get like because it comes in firm medium firm silken extra firm um, we typically go with anywhere between, um, this is a medium firm, we go between medium firm and extra firm, especially for like this kind of crispy tofu. So that's kind of the 411 on tofu types. Silken is very, very soft. Step number one is draining your water out of it. You doing that? We just leave it in the container and like Shake push it. it Shake kinda. it. Okay, so you're gonna just dump your tofu out on your cutting board, and we cut it in. What do you say? Kind of like like uh, half inch slices, half inch thick slices. Yeah, make little like spears, and then I'm gonna heat up some oil in the pan now. So I'll just take a little olive oil and drizzle it in there, and I'll just put this on kind of like medium high heat. I think it's good to get the oil a little bit hot before yeah. you put the tofu in. No, nope, definitely I agree. I think it's it's better. I don't know why that is. Somebody that's a chef will probably know, but mm -hmm. I swear like heating your oil first is key to... You should know. Didn't you take like a class on this in college? On what? Heat conduction. Heat transfer? Heat conduction. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think we talked about tofu and oil. Yeah, but you should understand the concept. I, know. <laughs> I did take a culinary arts class in seventh grade. All right, so furthermore, you should know. We didn't cook tofu or oil. <laughs> tofu is cut, so they're just little... Spears. Spears, have about half inch thick. This is how um, much oil we put in. You can do different kind of chops, choppings for different, whatever you want. If that made any sense. Put give in. them permission. I'll give you permission, guys. <laughs> All right, so here's the oil in there. What do you think? A couple tablespoons of oil. Not too crazy, but. Okay, so we're just going to lay the tofu in there. Try to make them not touch if you have room, just because they'll get stuck together and it's a little bit easier to. It's easier to flip them when they're not connected. Oh, there comes some sizzling. Sizzle, sizzle. Can we just do a second batch, maybe? Oh, well, we can get one in there. They'll touch, but it's okay. Obviously, we will link this pan in the description box for you guys, too, um, so it's easy to find. Cool. Sizzle, sizzle. Something else that we always do for our tofu, Lowry's garlic salt. You are our holy grail. So we'll do that to both sides. The seasoning is really simple. We just do garlic salt. Garlic. Garlic. <laughs> Galaxy salt. <laughs> Red pepper. Hot dots. Hot dots. And then normal pepper too. She likes to make it spicy on me. All the time. Here you go. Here. You want this kind or that kind? This kind is good. He loves to do it from a very high height. And he claims that this distributes it really it well, but can you come look at what you just did? One section is heavily peppered and nowhere else. Shoot. 
Okay, now, so seriously? I would say being closer to it, you could distribute oh, it. Oh, look at that technique. Okay, so the tofu is sizzling. We're heating it up. We're on about medium to high heat. And you're just gonna really let it ride here and let it go for what, like five to 10 minutes on each side? Yeah. Maybe almost like 10. Yeah, like seven to 10 maybe. Seven to 10 minutes, yeah, that's a good that's a good number. And then we'll bring you guys back when we flip them and you'll see they're getting golden brown. Yeah, but just we'll be just patient. All the way through. Just yeah, be let very them patient. Sit for a little bit. That's how they're gonna get crispy and cooked up, so don't have to. Delaney's gonna stand right here and watch them <laughs> supervise. She's gonna supervise these things until they're <laughs> well, crispy. Never been until they're crispy. Okay, in the meantime, should we prep the rest of the salad? Yeah. I don't know what to call this salad. It's kind of like a, it's just like a mix of things. We just made it up one it's day. Delaney's special Or salad. if this is a salad someone knows the proper name of or something, feel free to tell us that too. Hit us up. We're gonna use butter lettuce and- We meat. just got this new one. Yeah, we've never used this. Before, like we usually get the living butter lettuce. This is hearts. So it's gonna be the tender pieces only. Yeah. Should be really good. And then we're also gonna chop up some heart of palm and put it in there. A heart of palm is so delicious. I don't really know how to describe it. It's like. Yeah, how would you describe it? It tastes similar to artichoke hearts, kind of like it's, yeah. and like olives. Like it, it's kind of like metally like that. I don't know if that's a good way to describe it. Tastes like metal. Tastes like steel. And it kind of tastes like, texture-wise, it's like... It tastes better than metal. Yeah. Closest thing is an artichoke heart that I can... I'd say it definitely it's similar to an artichoke heart. And it's literally the heart of... A palm tree. A palm tree, literally. We're about to flip the tofu now, okay? We're also going to put in these ca Castel Vetrano olives. I just call them green olives. Yeah, but not like the... One kind of green olive. All right, so it's time to flip. So this is the R place uh, spatula that comes with it. They just kind of before you like really go for the scoop, you just kind of like pat them around a little bit, to make sure that there's no stickage going on. And then you can make them a in, little more mobile. Come in from the side. Give them a flip. Also, if you flip them a little too early, like maybe you flip those too early, you can always flip them back, them back over, yeah. a couple times too. So these aren't quite not... crispy yet. So that's that's again where it comes into being patient because even though it really sounds like the the pan is really hot and they're they're getting there, you just have to be patient. Like it can I mean, take a little while. Nice, nice golden. These ones oh, are getting yeah. more golden over here. That's lovely. Okay, those look so nice. So just flip these. Now we'll season the other side and we'll just let them continue simmer. So as you guys can see, like the pan works so well. Yeah, these, did, is, these didn't stick at all. This is one of the many purposes that we use it for. Okay, so I got my lettuce, the heart of palms, and the olives in the mixing bowl. And for the dressing, we're gonna use, or we have been using this uh, Follow Your Heart Lemon Herb. It goes really nice. Salad everything. dressing. Yeah, it's pretty light. It's a nice it light good. dressing and it tastes great. <laughs> and this, we like to put on the salad, uh, Follow Your Heart Parmesan cheese. I talk about this all the time. It's probably our favorite vegan cheese, like for mm. most things. Yeah. Like we love Miyoko's too, mozzarella, but this is just, Good put on soup, on salads, just like on top of anything like you would with normal parmesan. Okay, so these are pretty much sorry, it's on the one hand. These are pretty much done. Nice and crispy. You can also like get the sides. So yeah, works perfectly and this is so good to throw in salad pasta, with like a bowl, anything, rice. Okay. So I'm gonna take the heat off of these now, put them in our salad. All right, now here's the finished salad. So it's got the olives, heart of palm, butter lettuce, and then the fried tofu and Parmesan on top with the lemon herb dressing. Time for lunch. I've been having all sorts of little aches and pains. What do you think of this tender lettuce? I kind of like that lemon better. 
just have the mix. It's like too soft. Yeah. But it's so good. Tofu turned out delicious. I think the number one thing with cooking tofu is just being uh, patient. Mm -hmm. Like it takes a little while for it to really start crisping. Mm -hmm. It's not like raw or anything like when you're cooking meat so you don't yeah. like have to wait for it to turn a different color or something like you do with meat. It's the same idea like you wouldn't cook chicken for like four minutes. No. I love the mix of like the heart of palm. Yeah, the olives are really nice. Your back okay? Mm-hmm. Well, your hand is so cold. Why is it so cold? Oh, maybe it's from riding the bike. Where did you ride the bike? I love this lunch. Me too. It's like light, but satisfying. Very delicious. Well, last night I was researching my blood type diet. Because we were talking with like our families the other day and like no one knows their blood type. Yeah. We're just, I don't know mine. It, we're just like, why does no one know their blood type? Like, it's kind of weird. So, I know mine because I have a medical chart online that I could look at. So I did that, and for my blood type, which is A positive, <clears throat> I am supposed to eat tofu and soy and like lots of vegetables lots and of vegetables, not meat yeah. and not dairy, which is so weird because that's like how I eat pretty much. And I am supposed to eat fish which if you guys have watched our video on our diet, we do eat fish sometimes, so it's just kind of weird that that was already Your diet. Happening. I wonder how mine is in comparison to what I'm supposed to eat. Um, hopefully you're not O positive. That means you're supposed to eat a lot of meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Fueled up from lunch, and now do you want to go look at some stuff? Yeah? <laughs> I do want to go look at stuff. Oh, home decor stuff? Home decor stuff. <laughs> home decor stuff. Lainey used her new, what do you call it? The Dyson Air Wrap. Mm -hmm. And it made her hair so freaking voluminous. Look at this. It looks like you went to like one of the professional like blowout places, really. Yeah, it looks better than one they did. <laughs> Shade. <laughs> no, but, but like for real, this is like crazy. <laughs> Whoa! It was my first time using it. First time that. using it, she's still learning. I need to like figure out. There's like so many attachments and ways to do it, so. We'll get there. But it's nice and poofy. Okay, we just got to Home Goods, and before we go in, just want to say thank you to everybody for all your support during Vlogmas. It was very nice to you guys. Delaney doesn't even know what's going on. This was an impromptu thank you speech. I didn't know what you were about to say. You freaked me out. I but thought you were going to say something really weird. I typically do. But yeah, thank you guys for entering all the giveaways, and that was a good time. Clocky Claws loved it. Wild month. Is there a problem, miss? <laughs> I just saw this meme, the Sagittarius meme the other day. That, that was they like, can't stop laughing. Yeah, it was like, do you? Is everything a joke to you? Or and the meme responded back and was like, that's the point. <laughs> that's the point. It's the point, bro. Okay, there was a, probably like a 30 minute wait. Uh, why are you laughing? She literally laughs every time I speak. There's like a 30, stop it. You're, <laughs> You're tickling me. Uh, like 30 minute wait at TJ Maxx just to get in the door. So we are gonna leave. And we're gonna go try, let's go try Target. Okay. Do you like this plant? Yeah, but it's for hanging. Gonna take off the rope. That's pretty cute. I think it's too like spiky. Use that for propagating, maybe. Oh, we don't we have some of those from? Uh, we have, we have things like that. What can we get? What'd you find there? Yeah. I don't know if they're the right. Okay, but we can just try them because it's really They're easy. not all connected, right? Yeah. 
Like all separate? I think so. That's nice. Good find. Oh, I do. That would actually match, huh? It's pretty cool. What do you think? It's pretty cool. Oh, wait, is it broken back there? Or what is that that you were just playing with? You can also take those parts off, I guess. Yeah. And what about the top part? What's it look like if you take that off? Do you love it? Maybe like one longer. Can you put it like angled how it would be if it was in the corner? It would be cute with like a fuzzy pillow on it. I feel like it looks a little like, it's really thin, you know? Like the ar the arms and stuff. Cute, but not quite. It's too wide, but it's okay. Okay, I wanna try it out. It's pretty cute, like it's not. Yeah, well, let's try it out. Cause we can return, like I said, we could also get this one. Ooh, that one's nice. Droopy. Might be too thick, actually. No. No? That'll be okay. We can get both. Those look good, I think. Yeah. I love this little bowl. I know, that bowl is really nice. Can we put that anywhere? No. If we had like an entryway, it would be perfect. I also like those lamps. That would be perfect for an entryway at home. Yep, but we don't have one. We aren't there yet. What if you put this in your in the guest bedroom? Next to the chair? Yeah. Next to whatever chair we got? No? Too much? It's kinda cute. I don't wanna try it. Full cart. Oh god! Oh god! It's off-roading. <laughs> I want to flip. <laughs> Let's flip this thing. Yeah. Well, you got some goodies. Got a lot of good stuff, I think. We'll do a full haul once we get back home and show you guys yeah. the pieces and kind of our ideas for that. Uh, we got back from shopping at Target yesterday and then decided to just kind of relax the rest of the afternoon. We went to shoot a look. So we didn't do our haul yet. But it's yeah, so we're gonna use those pieces that we got at Target and decorate the house and stuff. Um, and we are about to go on a walk and get some coffee this morning. And we got some new shoes that we're gonna show you guys. We're we matching. Got, we got matching workout shoes. Home. Running shoes. What do people call them? Are these for running though, or are they like athletic shoes? Like, what do you yeah. call? I just call them workout shoes. Workout shoes. So these are from Adidas. I have one other pair of Adidas active wear shoes. Yeah, these are my first pair. They're your first pair? Mm hmm. You only have Nike, huh? Mm hmm. They're pretty comfy. I'll show you guys them. These are them. What are they called? They are the Ultra Boost Wait. DNAs. Wait, did you see it inside? Yeah. You can show. Yeah, but there's nothing to step on. Colon, kidneys, like what is all that? This is a like. Well, I mean, as you guys know, you've seen our footboard. There's all these little uh, pressure points in your feet that have to do with different body there's parts. And that was my chin. I don't know why the sole has that on there because there's no pressure points, but I think it's just kind of showing like your feet, your feet matter so much. So putting your feet on uh a good surface is a good thing. And Delaney's still laughing today. Sleeky deaky Dutch. Sleeky deaky. I got to put a regular size in them, okay? Yeah. True to size. They fit true to size. They're really comfy. Yeah, they are. I like them. Originally, I had wanted the ones that were, um, I think, a white sole. Mm -hmm. Or, no, maybe a black sole, and then the mesh is white. Mm -hmm. With a black stripe or something. I don't know, something like a little more... Poppy? Yeah, or just like classic, but I, I don't think they have those in our size or something. So, I opted for the all black, mostly because it like looks sleek and it matches everything, but also I hate when 
activewear shoes or workout shoes, whatever, we don't know what to call them still, get like really dirty. And it's yeah. so easy to get them dirty because you take them on walks. You yeah, like white shoes get dirty. Kick stuff in the gym or your garage in our case. Car tires. Yeah. So I was like, these are never going to get dirty, so they're going to look new for longer. So that's why I went That's a good idea. Yeah. Nice. Can we match Just like that. Clayton also got a jersey from Adidas. It's so cute. You want to show them your jersey real quick? Sure. Um, but Clayton got a hockey jersey from Adidas. And I don't think you've never owned a hockey jersey before, right? No? Definitely not in our time dating. But he looks so good in it. It's so cute. Like, maybe he should become a hockey player. Got that, and I'll probably steal it from him, too, because I think it'll be cute for, like, a boyish outfit. This is my hockey jersey. Try it on. Even though we have a friend who plays for the Kings. Sorry, Kale. Yeah. We love you. I like Tupac. I'll get a Kings jersey. Tupac. Cutie. Yeah. Love you in that. It's, like, super what nice. What size did we get you? Huh? A large, I think. No idea. I'll link all of this stuff for you guys in the description box. Uh, they're actually hockey jerseys are very comfortable to wear too. So it's kind of like a baggy, it's like a baggy long sleeve. Yeah, I love it. I'm gonna get you more. Okay. All right, let's go get some coffee because I'm still oh, half well. asleep. All right, we're back on our walking grind. When we were in uh, Tahoe, it was super like, it was really cold in the mornings for sure. And then it was obviously snowy. So we weren't walking that much. So now we're back on our morning walking grind. Oh, love it. That's probably like one of my biggest perks of living in Southern California is just that we can go on walks like all year. All year. I live for that. But we got our coffee. I just went for a black coffee this morning. Delaney got a oat milk iced chai. I'm not supposed to do that. She's not supposed to do that. It makes me so hyper, but it tastes good. She acts like nothing's gonna happen. But we Sometimes all know. it doesn't as bad. I don't know. Probably if you eat something. No, I don't know. It really makes me not hungry either. Like when I have a chai, I could not eat for the rest of the month. Pretty much feels like. Well, that's because, yeah, I'm pretty sure like caffeine makes you not hungry. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to get to our walk. And then we're going to get back home and we're going to do the little decorating. Decorating hall. A little decorating hall. Home decorating hall. Hey, She's laughing. Okay. I feel here. walked. I feel well walked. Thanks, Are babe. you a dog? Thanks for taking me on the walk. All right. You know when you go to Target, you just get some stuff that you weren't planning Start on getting. Going hard. And yeah, that's what happened. Of course. Okay. The first thing. This is probably the best thing that we got. I feel like. Who picked it out? Clean. What's up, everybody? Ding 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 ding. Can I get an award? So cute. Best pick of the year. Best, best pick of the year. The first pick of the draft. <laughs> this is a little faux, like, blossom plant. Make sure you guys go closer. Kind of like a twiggy, blossomy plant. And it came in this vase. We're thinking of putting this on the fireplace mantle, the mantle since that's yeah. what we're trying to like, really spruce sp up. Spruce it up. So we'll show you how that looks there. And then we also got this faux, what are these called? Pearl, string, string of pearl, pearl, string of pearl. Which is also nice, like we just love greenery. This specific kind of plant we've tried having live many times yeah. and it never worked out for us, so we're sticking to the faux on those ones. Obviously we prefer real plants, but for that, nope. 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 And then we mentioned that we wanted some black candlesticks maybe for the fireplace instead of the gold ones, kind of add some contrast and I put these on my story when my friends DM'd me and said these are really popular on Target and they sell out every two minutes online. What? Yeah, so we're really lucky we got them. Oh. I'm like, okay. Pretty good. Those are good. I, I, and yeah, then, I like them. Yeah, they're really pretty. And then we picked up this magazine holder. Originally thought that this would be cute in our spare bedroom slash Clayton's office. It matches like his chair in there and stuff. So we're gonna bring that upstairs and see how it looks. We got two sets of these candle holders. Yeah. And then um, we picked up this basket 
for our spare bedroom, I mean spare guest bathroom, bathroom, guest bathroom, upstairs. And then we got some towels to put in it as well. This is Casa Luna, really nice Target brand. They're super soft. Yeah, they're kind of like a, I don't know what the material is. 100% cotton, but I don't know how to explain. It says smooth woven front that that reverses to absorbent terry. So, oh yeah. So, it's really nice. Um, they look really nice, so we got this one with like the little fringe, and it's kind of a gray color, because that is kind of the color of the other towels in that bathroom. And then we just got some white ones to mix into the basket as well. And then these are just like a normal organic, organic, organic. Um, cotton towel. So, gonna spruce up that bathroom a little, and then that's everything we got. So, we'll show you guys kind of it's styled now. Okay, so you're gonna do the candles. Do you think the gold candles are still nice up here? Yeah, that looks good. We can burn them through. Yeah, the problem we have with white is it like blends into the wall. Yeah. Oh, that looks nice, I think. Yeah, I think it does too. The, these take up more like base space. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, but. We're just taking over the. Hey, they did. Circumference. They didn't take up a lot of room. I'm gonna bring one more up. Like that. Yeah, I'm yeah. That, I like how it's like kind of the prop. So we're gonna, if you guys don't know what propagating is, it's where you cut a piece of plant and then put it in water. It just kind of grows out the side. But I like how if we did that, like the three propagating things would kind of be like dispersed. Yeah, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so looks really good. Okay, so here's this side. Where's this candle from, babe? A hometown collective. It's our friend Haley Jacobson. So this is a new candle we just got. Small owned business. Small owned business. So. Yeah. This was an old picture. I think Delaney took this picture in New York City, looking at the One World Trade Center. Candlesticks look good. And these are little propagating vases are from um, Feel at Home. Feel at Home. We have a discount code for them if you guys are interested. And these are vintage books that we got off of Etsy. They're just like nice. We need more of those. Golden colors. Because they do yeah. good things. They do good things. <laughs> What we just got from Target. I think the black ones are nice. I think it adds just like a really nice contrast. It looks, I think it looks better now. Okay, that, I think it's pretty cute. Babe. I think we're getting there. Once those propagations are happening. Yeah. We're up in the guest bedroom now. Or no, bathroom. We're in the guest, guest. Guest bathroom. Good talk. Guest bathroom. Mm -hmm. So this is where those gray towels are going to live. And the new basket. And I guess that plant. That looks good. Does it? Yeah. Lots of small female owned businesses happening right here for you guys. This is from Tate and Teague's, our friend Molly um, business. It's a little seashell candle that she made. So cute. Super cute. And then this tray is from Maya Champion. She makes, what is this called? Like Ceramics. Ceramics, yeah, she's so good. This is my friend Mimu. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. She's like the most beautiful person on the world and she also um, does art, so really pretty. So yeah, we're, we're still figuring out this shelf, but... Whoa, oh my god. Okay. I feel like this is a little too like heavy right here. Okay, our little basket. First, let's decide if we like this basket. Okay. Here. I'll put it like there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I think that looks nice in here. Ah! And with like the colors and everything, I feel like it's a good. So this one needs to go. That one needs to go. Should it be turned like the handles down? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me take the tag off the basket, and then you can take. Do we like the towels? Yeah, I think the towels look nice. Is it matches. White? It matches this. The white skin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Gonna style my basket. basket just one last idea and spot we're gonna share for now so here our two chairs go you guys know if you've seen our house before um that's where our christmas tree was so it's a little out of sorts right now but we're thinking we just ordered a new chair for right there because those chairs are so old we've had them for five years, five years maybe four years I'm not sure, um, but they're kind of falling apart. Like the, the bottom is falling off actually. So um, we ordered a new chair. It's fuzzy kind of like that, but it has black instead of wood accents. And we're thinking of just doing one chair over there and then putting a little like cabinet right here. Um, it'd kind of be like an entryway vibe. You know, like how you put your keys and like an entryway table and like put a bowl on top and things like that. Like we don't have space in our actual entryway for that. So we thought right there would be a nice use of that. So I'm going to see um, what we can find and how that works. But it's our next plan. So that was our first vlog of 2021. See you guys mm -hmm. next time.